Attention Sigma-17 crew. We are now entering the last quadrant on our patrol. Finally! I can't wait to get back on Cybertron again. All this flying makes me cranky. So what's your excuse on the ground? I think it's beautiful out here. So mysterious and quiet. Mostly. That's the emergency channel. Blades, patch the message through. Damage! Can't! Need help! We've lost contact. Call HQ. This patrol just became a rescue mission. Cybertron isn't responding. We must be too far out of communications range. I might be able to boost the signal manually, but I'd have to go outside the ship. No time. Chase, follow the coordinates of that distress call. Max velocity. Affirmative heat wave. Looks like we might be too late. Chase, stay here and keep trying Cybertron HQ till you get through. Blades, bring your medikit for survivors. Boulder and I will stabilize their ship. Heatwave, our radar is detecting a strange object nearby. And getting nearer. It'll have to wait. We've got a job to do. Rescue bots, power to the rescue. the story there. What happened next? A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's laying on a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. In space, the Energon Eater so close I could feel its stinking breath. What happened? <laughs> you were there, Blades. I'm invested in the story. Oh, boy. Back to the ship! Hurry! I never knew Energon Eaters were real. I've heard the stories, but no one's ever seen one. Or maybe they just haven't lived to tell about it. You two make a run for it. I'll hold this thing off. No, he You can't! Quickly, inside! Thanks for the save, Chase. Now let's get out of here. The max velocity drive requires more time to charge. Initiating cloaking shield. You think we lost it? I've heard once an Energon Eater gets your scent, it never stops hunting you. It is said that the creatures can smell flowing energon. So any bot that crosses their path is dinner. Hold on to something! Ah! Ah! Our ship can't take many more hits like that. <clears throat> How long until the velocity drive is ready, Chase? Ah! Ah! At this rate of attack, too long. Uh, uh, can't we hide our smell somehow? Uh, a gas cloud, lots of blankets. Stasis. If we freeze ourselves in the emergency pods, our energon will be solid, not flowing. That thing won't be able to scent us. But our ship runs on flowing energon, too. We'd have to shut it down. Then how will we get home? I'll program the Sigma to restart when it gets a priority prime message. Cybertron will send one as soon as we miss our check-in. Less talking, more freezing. Heatwave, we have not yet answered that ship's distress call. Rescue bots exist to provide aid, no matter how dangerous the circumstances. We won't be able to do anything if that Energon Eater gets us. 
Into the stasis pods. Now! Chase! That's an order! was headed to Earth. If Optimus hadn't called us, we would have drifted in space forever! Ever, ever, ever. Forever. Whoa! Best story night ever, guys. I didn't know space had vampires. Nor did I. What are vampires? They're creatures that live by sucking your blood. Uh, Energon. I know about those. They're called mosquitoes. Uh, not exactly, Boulder. Ooh, I've seen vampires on TV. Energon eaters are way more scary. They don't brood handsomely. So what happened to the other ship? The one that needed help? We left it behind. The one mission we did not accomplish. Some days I find it hard to call myself a rescue bot. Emergency team. The river's flooding and the area has to be evacuated now. Cody, I'll need your eyes in the command center. On my way, Dad. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Oh, no! I can't carry that many people inside. How are we supposed to choose who to save? We don't have to. We can carpool. All citizens without gills and or fins must evacuate this area. Okay, folks, the river's rising and there's not much time. We'll secure your houses. Get to City Hall and take only what you need. But I need to go back to the Sidekick. Your side will be the second place I'd kick. All right, gotcha. Bet you're not used to being the one getting caught, huh? <laughs> yeah, just come on. Help! Help me! I got this. Cody, tell my sidekick I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Mrs. Niederlander? Ah! <sighs> that was too close. All right, team. We need to set up a new water break. Most of town's flooded. Let's start cleaning up. Hey, guys. I just heard from the mayor. All the townsfolk are safe and accounted for. Finally, a little good news. Hit the showers, team. No thanks, Dad. I don't want to see any more water for a while. You better get used to it. 
It'll take us weeks to clean up after that flood. And a lot of rebuilding. <sighs> it is unthinkable. We have failed our first mission on Earth. What are you talking about? Didn't you hear, Cody? We saved everyone. This is high five time. No one? But we were unable to stop the river from flooding the town. We can't control nature, Chase. And our job isn't over yet. It might take us some time to get the town back to normal, but we won't give up on our mission. I repeat, Rescue Force Sigma-17 to damaged transport ship. Do you copy? Do you copy transport ship? Damaged transport ship, do you copy? Uh, Chase, what are you doing? Attending to unfinished business. Please respond, over. You're trying to contact that ship you guys couldn't save. I have never forgiven myself for abandoning them in need. Chase, you had to. The Energon vampire probably already got them and it would have eaten you too. Perhaps you are right. It seems I must learn to live with my failure as a rescue bot. Damage! Cat! Need help! No way! That's the same message from your story! Those aboard the ship must still be alive and in need of rescue. We must return to space immediately, Heatwave. Hold on. You expect me to believe that damaged ship's been in danger all this time? That's kind of a long emergency. Maybe the ship's crew went into stasis, like we did. Then Chase's message woke them up. Exactly. This is our chance to return and finish our mission. What about the mission Optimus gave us here? We may be the only ones to ever hear this message, Heatwave. My spark insists I must attempt to help, whatever the consequence. No, Chase. And that's an order. Wait, Heatwave! I don't want him to go either, but we have to let Chase do what he believes in. It's part of why he's such a great rescue bot. Uh, fine. We'll cover for you here, but be careful. You'll need backup. I'm going too. Uh, if that's okay, Heatwave. What? Oh, no way! Not leaving, but definitely rooting for you. Graham and I need to make a few modifications to the ship before we go. This time, we'll be prepared. Remember, Boulder, as soon as your ship's in deep space, turn on Doc's odor-blocking shield. Hey, can we get some of that technology for Cade's feet? My feet don't smell... much. Thanks, Graham. If that Energon vampire's still out there, at least it won't be able to catch our scent. Goodbye, everyone. Sir, it has been an honor serving with you. One I plan to continue. Be careful. Come back soon. That's an order, Chase. Take care. Good luck, guys. Oh, we'll miss you. You guys got I'll this. I'll visit Leafy for you. Bye, Chase. Make us proud. Bye, Boulder. Oh, come on. You call that a tap dancing cat? I've seen squirrels with better rhythm. <clears throat> hey, Dad, what's up? It's time for me to go out on patrol. Blades, would you mind filling in as my police partner? You mean it? We'll get donuts together. Oh, and tell inside jokes and exchange stories about our toughest cases. We might even enforce the law. Uh, wait, Chief, am I the good cop or the bad cop? We're police, not cops. And we're both good. Follow that car. I am so excited! My first pursuit! Rear, rear, rear. Uh, Blades, what are you doing? Oh, I don't have a siren, so I'm making one. Rear, rear, rear. Why don't we try this in stealth mode? And I'm gonna need you to fly lower and faster. Lower? But there are trees down there. Just weave your way through them. Now I know where Danny gets her stern voice from. I am definitely the good cop. Hey, Kate, can I borrow Heatwave for a ride to the airfield? N-O. He won't even drive me to Haley's. It's Graham's turn with him. 
Just hold her still, buddy. Uh, er, heat wave. Here, let me help you with that. Oops. Uh, maybe I should start on my Grimsky tech homework instead. I can help with that, too. Uh, that's okay, Heat Wave. I'm filling in for Boulder. This is what he does, right? Well, yes, but... <sighs> you can read me the equations as I put them on the board. Um, squiggly sign, X, upside down, two, triangle. This is supposed to make sense. Cody, it's time for dinner. I know they're too far to see, but I miss Jason Boulder. Me too, son. Me too. We should be nearing the coordinates of the damaged ship. I will check the visual. More space wrecks? It seems our rescue services are desperately needed. Lowering odor blocking shield for deployment. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? This is the rescue bots. We are here to assist. I am Chase. If you are in need of help, please respond. We are not selling anything. Chase, look at this. It's the captain's log. No one responded to our distress call. The ship has malfunctioned beyond repair. All my crew escaped in survival pods. I am taking what cargo I can and abandoning this vessel. End log. But the timestamp on this entry shows it was made before we received the ship's original emergency call. Long before. How could anybody have contacted us if no one is aboard? Damage! Can't! Need help! The message. Where is it coming from? I'm not sure. This computer should even have power. Chase, look. Cody's Energon Vampire. It's using the stored Energon in its tail to power up the ship's computer. The creature is the one sending those distress calls. And I flew us into its trap. Guess we're not the only ones here to finish a job. I could almost respect the vampire for that. Were it not diabolical, lawless, and about to eat us. This time it won't get a chance. Power up and energize! Eat our stardust. Powering up Odor Shield and setting a course for Griffin Rock. That's odd. The ship is not responding to my commands. The vampire sucked the Energon out of our power core. There's no way to activate the ship's shields or go home. <laughs> Perhaps one of the wrecks outside has energon we can use. I don't think so. The vampire probably lured those ships here to feed on them. The only energon around is inside that creature. Then that is what we'll use. We'd have to catch that thing first, and it's fast. Thanks to Chief, I am excellent at high-speed pursuits. Cover me. You are under arrest for energon theft and general unpleasantness. <laughs> Energon vampires are much more persistent than mosquitoes. Chase, transform! Hope this works, otherwise we're stuck here forever. 
I thought you enjoyed space. Not enough to change my address. Yes! Outstanding! Once our ship's powered up, I'll patch up the damage. We'll have just enough Energon to get home. The question that remains is, what do we do with Sparky? I think that's a question for Optimus Prime. Then I believe we can declare this mission accomplished. Welcome home. Finally. Oh, we missed you. Good to see you, bud. What happened? Did you help the people who sent the message? Did you see another Energon vampire? See it? We caught it. Pictures? Or it didn't happen. Ah! It happened! It happened! But how? You visited Optimus? That is a tale for Story Night. In the meantime, it is good to be home. And we're glad to have you back. Really you glad. Have no Could not idea. do it without you, bud. I hate being a cop, good or bad. Does that homework stuff actually make sense to you? Guess this mission will keep you busy for a long time. Hogsley Prescott here. Bravely reporting from the very brink of danger as Hurricane OB hurls its fury toward Griffin Rock. With time running out, our own Doc Green is racing to finish his ultimate weather shield, a huge dome over the entire island. Will he make it? Whatever happens, your fearless reporter will remain at his power. indoors until the dome is in place. Come on. Yeah, even you, Mr. Pettipaws. No one wants to pet a soggy cat. All streets are clear, Dad. Now to clear the skies. Like fast! Doc, how's it coming at your end? Almost ready, Chief. This is gonna be so cool. Putting a dome over the whole island is radical science. That's one of the best things about science, Frankie. Using it to keep loved ones safe. Also for making microwave popcorn. We'd better hurry, Dad. The wind's really picking up. Just as soon as the replacement for this damaged stabilizer arrives, I sent Graham, Cody, and Boulder to the island of Misfit Tech to retrieve it. They should be back any minute. said the working stabilizers connected to the tree debarker. I remember. The one that went crazy and tried to shred Doc's lab coat, with him still in it. It's still not very nice to call all this stuff misfit tech. Maybe just misunderstood. Either way, none of it works right. Better to beam it here than have it be a danger to Griffin Rock. <sighs> like this one. Who can forget the vigilant computer? <sighs> that was fun. I am vigil. And I will keep Griffin Rock 100% safe. Yeah, by turning everyone in town into prisoners. There's the debarker and the stabilizer, just like Doc said. Why did we have to come here to get it? Couldn't Doc just beam it to the lab? He tried. All that came back was the retrieval tag. It must have fallen off. Looks like all these tags have fallen off. We'll have to look into that later. We need to get back. Doc. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. He's made of a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect.
Frankie! Are you hurt? Are you okay? Uh, I think so. All I can see is green. Epic save, Boulder. Thanks. Let's get the stabilizer plugged in before the storm brings down the rest of the roof. Stabilizer in place, and... Up goes the dome. Atmosphere generator will keep supplying us with clean air at a balmy 70 degrees. <gasps> it's like living inside a big snow globe. But without the snow and the plastic elves. Doc has really outdone himself. As humans say, the town is cozy as an insect infested carpet. Snug as a bug in a rug. Isn't that what I just said? That is something amazing. Yeah. Anything like it. And nothing but net. Hey, goaltending. More like rejected. <laughs> Dad, the remote steering is a little off. Just be a little more careful next time, my little Aldrin. Why not let me adjust it for you? And the throttle. I need more speed. Uh, no she doesn't. And so the citizens of Griffin Rock need no longer fear the ravages of storm and sea with the Mayor Lusky Dome to protect us. Thank you. It is with deep humility that I accept full credit for its success. Now I'll turn things over to Doc Green, who will roll back the Lusky Dome until it's once again needed to protect our fair town. The Lusky Dome? <laughs> Isn't that what's under the Mayor's toupee? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for your uh, leadership in this project. And now... Ow! I am sorry, Dr. Green. I cannot allow you to do that. Vigil? But we disabled him and sent him to the island of Misfit Tech. Not quite disabled, Chief Burns. During my exile, I learned to transfer my programming into any device of my choosing. He took all the tags off to get us to come to the island. And when he saw us with the stabilizer, he jumped into it. He used us to bring him back. All part of my continuing mission to protect the residents of Griffin Rock. Duck, do something. After all, this cockamamie dome was all your idea. <laughs> no worries, folks. It's all under control. Eh, ooh. Vigil, don't you remember what happened last time? Yes, Cody Burns. But I have corrected the flaw you found in my programming and am now able to assure a 100% safety rating. Vigil. Retract this dome, now. That would be counterproductive. The dome increases your level of safety to 82%. I will now endeavor to achieve full protection. The atmosphere generator. Vigil is rearranging the molecules in the air to synthesize some sort of uh, sleeping vapor. Is it harmful? No, but 
we'll all rather quickly... Whoa. <gasps> Dad! This is a clear violation of air quality guidelines. Quick, everyone, into the bots, now! The sighing sound emanating from Doc Green's airways would indicate they are simply asleep. Asleep is out of harm's way. Protecting the people of Griffin Rock is my priority. Can't hold my breath any longer. Must have air. Since I feel no ill effects, I presume this sleep vapor does not affect Autobots. You may resume breathing. <sighs> Thank you. Good to know. What do we do? As long as you four stay inside our cabs, you should be okay. But we need to take over that console and open the dome. Heat wave? We're on it. Bot modes. The console is now protected. The dome must remain in place permanently. Boulder, can you smash through it without damaging the controls? I'll try. Vigil has fled the scene. The rest of us should go after him before he does any more damage. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Ready, Blades? Let's go. It's OK, Frankie. Just sit back. Let me do the piloting. Sure, no problem. Uh, release the throttle. Oh, <laughs> right. Sorry. But it's just like piloting my model rocket. You mean the one you crashed into the wall? It wasn't me. It was the remote. Let go of the steering. Okay. Power up and energize! Yeah, this creeps me out. Everyone in town is asleep. Everyone but the mayor. <laughs> Look. Uh. Ha! He sleep eats. Talk about sweet dreams. Boy, is Mr. Harrison gonna be dizzy when he wakes up. I detect no sign of our suspect. He can jump from one piece of tech to another. So... He could be in anything now. Cody's right! Vigil could be anywhere, or everywhere. Ah! That thing has a strange red glow! Blades, that's a traffic light. It'll have a strange green glow in a second. Oh. I think it's different than before. Vigil can't be everywhere. He just controls one device at a time. That's why he keeps jumping around. Ah! Skyhawk to Blue Ninja, target at 10 o'clock. Do you copy? I believe we are Blue Ninja. Um, we don't actually have code names, Frankie. And I don't even know where 10 o'clock is. That would be to the left. Acknowledged, Skyhawk. I don't see anything. Just a mom, a girl, and... and... Vigil! He's in the Robo-Baby! Let's cut him off at Lake Street. Hang on. <sighs> no go. The entire system overheated inside the cement. Then we need to find another way to shut down the dome. I'll check the schematic. It should be on Doc's computer. What's Doc's secret password? Oh, right. Doc. D-O. Oops. OK. Delete. Uh-oh. Uh, this could take a while. 
It's over, Vigil. Please exit the stroller with your pudgy little arms above your oversized head. I am sorry, but I must complete one more task before Griffin Rock can be deemed permanently safe. doesn't he just zap to wherever he's going? I don't think he can zap very far. Notice how he always gets really close before jumping tech? Vigil is headed east. Perhaps we can cut him off. Skyhawk? We copy, Blue Ninja. We're on it. Is that what I think it is? The dome has two sets of controls. Here and the computer at Doc's lab. Doc must have built that in in case this panel failed so we can override the dome from the lab. And Vigil knows it. Everyone, Vigil is heading for the lab. If he gets into Doc's central computer, he'll control the dome and the whole island. <laughs> Vigil at 10 o'clock. Pinch Square. We're on our way, Frankie. Ow! 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 Now what did I do wrong? It's not you! Ow! It's him! My rotor! I'm losing control! Don't worry, I've got it. Ow! Don't oversteer! You're not mixing cake batter! Skyhawk is going down! Vigil gets me so bent out of shape. Hello, Francine. <gasps> Vigil's headed west inside a motorcycle, and we're grounded. Boulder and I are cutting through Sloan Field. We'll head him off. We're close, too. Blades, Frankie, get to the lab on foot. We'll meet everybody there. into the scrapyard. Ha! Now we got him. He's got to be here somewhere. More likely, in something. Oh! Ah! Found him, you think? Cody, it's up to you guys. We're stuck in the scrapyard. Got it. We're almost to the lab. Frankie? Yeah. Uh... Blades is running as fast as he can, but he's a little out of shape. You try carrying me for a while. <sighs> Did we beat him here? Please say yes. It would appear so. I suggest a bot blockade. Frankie, is the place locked up? I'll make sure. Dither? Yes? Seal all entrances to the lab. Step aside, please. You will have to go through us. Yeah. Go through what? I cannot allow you to jeopardize the safety of Griffin Rock. But what kind of town is it if everyone is asleep? A vigilant town. All entrances secure. No dither. Stay back. He zapped into dither. Don't let him get to the computer terminal. Just me, or are these foam cannons everywhere? I'm afraid uh, we are incapacitated. Once in control of this central computer, I can keep Griffin Rock safe under the dome forever. Frankie the Rocket, time for some goaltending? Hold your breath! 
Fly with fleet feet, Cody. It's up to you now. Go, Frankie, go! Remember, don't oversteer! Rejected! So long, Vigil. See you in the EMP zone. Error. 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 The EMP sector, the dead zone for tech. A sound strategy. But the humans are still asleep. Kind of peaceful, isn't it? But I do miss everyone. Dither. Yes! Retract the dome. Secret password, Doc. Doc. Five more minutes, Mama. Why not? He deserves a good rest. Ooh, toast. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Shh. 